So I'm about to rock up Bash's house. Bet you a thousand bucks his dog is going to f***ing berserk. Pluto doesn't like me at all. There they are, cute. What happened there? Rob Log in the building. All right, we are here with Ryan Bassanak. Thanks, mate. We are at his humble abode. Um, he is now doing a podcast and stuff, and I've been on it recently. It's called Brew the Basti, and he's been playing pool mm. in the end of his videos, which I think is really cool. So I thought, why not give the guy a bit of a challenge, and mm. we'll just have a little chat, throw it to the community. You guys ask the questions. We'll play a bit of pool, have a bit of fun, a bit of a chinwag. And I will get into it, but Ryan, thanks for coming on, man. Thank you. You've probably got it over me and Paul at the minute. I don't well. know. Yeah. We're usually drunk and it's usually yeah, doubles. We, <laughs> never play, we never play singles, so this will be interesting. I know. Do you I mean, want a break? Yeah, we'll break. Visitors break. Yeah, well, 100%. Yeah. Um, 164 games at AFL, majority of those were obviously with North Melbourne. North. Yeah. Um, how many games with Brizzy? Oh, I think it was like 40, 40, 40 something. 40, 40, like 40, 40s. 40, 44, 40, I don't know. Something like that. Now, Ryan is pretty good at Paul. He's got his own queue, so you want to go shout out to the queue yeah. people? My um, girlfriend Nat got me this, so <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I said it in the first podcast. I'm, yeah, not, I'm not a tosser who it's buys not that, my own it's shit. Not that guy. It's not <laughs> I'm not that guy. guy. I'm not that guy. My girlfriend got it for me, and I love it. So that's a pretty cool birthday present. Yeah. When did you get this table, by the way? Is that you got it when you did this room up? Yeah. Yeah, I got this maybe a month before I got this room done up, and so I was just was sitting, in, just the sitting in the garage. Yeah. The garage. Yeah. I, I got a jet good ski, pool table. Yeah. What, what else is in there now? Nothing. Oh, wait. Bit a few weights. Do you <laughs> shift in? Not that I use it. You no. don't shift in like you used to? Nah. Never a big bench. Oh no, I do. I never, a big, never a big bench rest fan, let's be honest, nah? <laughs> nah, nah. What was your, before I break, what was your, so this is a random chat, what was your go to like special like when you're in the gym? Because you know, a few blokes do Harry half reps. Nah, I just wanted to. A few blokes that walk and talk with me. Nah, I just wanted to get in and out. Yeah. I, I hate the gym, I still do. That, I don't that's... think, surely no one likes gym. The only way, the only reason I like gym is like, I'm not a big legs person, but I feel good if I do something with legs. Yeah. So I've cut out pretty much all my upper body. Yeah. I still smack the bench press because that's like I'm, inner strength yeah. type shit. I only do gym now because it's good for you. And yeah. the same as running. I don't like running. I don't like gym. I just but do But you're, you're a good runner. Good runner, yeah. You're but a good runner. You did like a half marathon. We'll talk about all. Oh, what was that? Uh, 50 k. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that's nice. All right, guys. <laughs> um, welcome to the vlog. That's good. <laughs> That's probably the best oh, I can choose, right? Yeah, yeah. That's um, nice. Ryan Bassanak, what have you been up to recently now? I know you're on the podcast. Yep. So you finished how many years ago now? End of 19, so just before COVID hit. Oh, so you yeah. got out in time. Yeah. Um, what did you do straight away? Like, you did, you did like a random like 50k yeah. marathon. Like, that came out of nowhere. Yep. I hate running. I hate everything to do with running. What mm. made you want to do that? Um, just to challenge myself. You know, like when you finish footy, you, you, you yearn you for something? Yeah, you don't get that, um, that the, thing you the, look forward what's to. What's that competitive edge or yeah, like yeah. challenge yourself? Yeah, so I thought, well, I'm an okay runner, so why not oh, test myself yeah. and, and do 50k? And well, done could it. you have started a bit easier than 50k or no? Probably could have, but I just thought, I wanted to do 100k. But then I thought, no. that's where I'm like, I'll go 50k and then I'll try 100. But how, how was training in terms of that? Like, what did you, you started baby steps, right? Yeah. You don't just go, I'm gonna snack out 50k and then go. Nah, to I started like, because I knew I could do 20, but it was a lot of like walking and running. Why, why do you know you can do 20? Oh, I don't know, because I can do, okay. I feel like if you can run 10k, you can run 50k. I feel. It's all, so we run it's, it's, all, it's, it's all a mindset, I yeah. reckon. What about my legs? It might be a leg set too, sure. Yeah. You can't just go That's where you got to, yeah, you got to condition them. But yeah, um, yeah I just thought. And what time do that in? I can check actually. It was under, I wanted to get, no, four hours and six minutes, I think. Oh, no, nah, I couldn't do that. No. I could not do that. Did you just walk like any of it or was it all jog? The Same only pace. time I walked, you know how you have to get your drinks? Yeah. So that's got, when, you that's when up, I walked. Yeah. Pull up and get a sip. Yeah, big balls. So you can't get pants because I potted one already, right? I potted a big end small one. Yeah. So yeah. you can't get pants. Nah. What am I? I did it in Your big balls. four hours and five minutes. So I'm going to put it to you guys. I don't know if that's, is that good or no? It's okay. It's, it's not a, too it's bad. A, it's an accomplishment within itself. Wait, what am I? Your big balls. Big balls. I said it four times. <laughs> big balls. Oh, I can get fucked. Flogged here. Nah, you, 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 you Don't were- Don't go easy as well. Nah, you were on your last, they were on the last ball, who was that against? Full cream. Full cream, I had four and then you yeah. come back and laughed at him. Um, yeah, so you've been out of the game for a few years now. Yep. Local footy and stuff, I've got a couple of questions. Yep. Um, oh no, local footy, where, where did you go straight after AFL? Did you go to Adelaide, right? Yeah, so I went to Adelaide um, for about 
three months with Norwood, because my best mate, Brad McKenzie, plays there. He's a former AFL player too, former, right? Yeah, he played at North, so yeah, yeah. I went there, and then um, COVID hit. Yeah. That's in. Oh, you jinxed yourself. Yeah, COVID hit, and then, because I was trying to rent this house, and then I got, you know, I got flooded and that. Yeah, yeah. So I was trying to do that, and We've then COVID hit, so I just had to get back up here, and um, I just met Nat as well, so. Did you meet her in Brizzy, or? Brizzy, yeah. yeah. And then the long distance, so I didn't really want to do long distance. Oh, oh that's deft touch. As well, but yeah, I got back up here um, when COVID hit, just to yeah. sort my house out, and, and whatever, and then, I still played in Adelaide actually flying in and out, but that was that was tough. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, that was <laughs> it's gonna be my best game that was nice. ever in pool. Like I'm not yeah. even kidding. I don't Fuck, know. You already got one I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just hitting balls <laughs> in and you might have to start taking it seriously. And I am, I'll come back here. Um yeah, so you played at Norwood. Norwood. Are they Red Leagues? Yeah, the Red Leagues. Red Leagues. Then I went to Aspley the following year in the yep. VFL. Fucking, we were shit, won one game. Oh, that's less But they're a good club, great club. And yep. now, this year, I'm playing down in Melbourne with my brother and dad, me old man's a coach at Pearsdale in um, the peninsula, down the peninsula. And this is a question from none other than my beautiful brother, Lee Robinson. Lee. He has asked the question, what was the lead up to copping that headbutt? So for people that don't know, I'll chuck it up on the screen too. You copped a nasty gash to your forey, right? Yeah, fucking random. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, it's a big gash. You'll see it below. I might have to blur it out a little bit, but... Yeah. Um, run us through that because that, that that's probably your best tweet you've ever had too, right? What's that? A thousand likes on that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that, but I just... the re Yeah, so... Fucking so run us up to what happened. Is it a rivalry, yours, those two clubs or whatever? They, or are, they are a bit of a rivalry, but... Um, you know, you expect to cop shit yeah. being next AFL, and that's, that's what I want to know. Like, yeah. because I'll probably in, if not next year, year after, I'll be playing local footy, country footy. Yeah. How much do you actually cop from other players? Like, oh, you washed up, yada yada. Yeah. The crowd gets into you, right? Yeah, the crowd really get into you, and that's fine. I love all that yeah. shit, but you don't expect <laughs> someone to come and fucking just, just headbutt you. Yeah. But, um, so how did, how did the league take it? Because it kind of blew up. I saw it everywhere. How did yeah. the league take it? They get you back. Did the guy get weeks? Well, that yeah, that was the um. Well, that's why I chucked it on Twitter. I wanted the league to to, to, like to do something. probably see it, and I feel like that's the league had a good opportunity to really stamp that shit out of yeah out of the game because it happens in that league every all the time. So what league is it? Mornington Peninsula. Oh, okay, is that Frankston Way? So they're fucking hopeless that league. Is that, Fra is that Frankston Way? Yeah, yeah, okay. they're hopeless. That makes sense. Um, so you know, there's some angry blokes out there. I don't know what's going on. How many weeks of the white cop? I think he got five or so, but five. Oh, yeah. If I had butter someone in the AFL, yeah, look you, out. You, you don't expect that, but you expect to cop shit off the yeah. crowd. But like, man, like, like verbally, yeah, like yeah. that's what I'm really yeah. and a bit of like fucking like physical off the physical, ball, yeah. Shit. But you want to go into the rooms after the game, have a beer with every player. And, yeah, that's and have a what chat. I also want to ask. Is that what it is like in up here or in that league? Because in Tassie, I'll probably cop it pretty bad. But like mm. when I. I would like to have a beer with the blokes afterwards. 100%. That's what I'll be doing after yeah, like having, yeah. having a beer or two. Hundred percent, and that's what I was looking forward to about local footy, just yeah. playing, playing hard and fair, and then playing with your brother too. Playing with my brother, and then having a beer with you know the oppo after the game and shit. Because I remember when I used to watch dad and all that. Like that's what he used to do. Yeah, yeah. But fuck, there's some you there's don't some, expect to get fucking some, headbutted. There was some bogan, yeah, weak people out there. Weird. I don't get it, but so, you other. rolled your ankle, right? You had a fat ass ankle. I've had a fucking rough year. <laughs> how, how, how do you go from getting physio on tap every day, all day, to do probably own, doing nothing? Doing my own physio. Because I came to your house because I got dropped, what was it, after the Melbourne game, was it? Yep. yep. After the Melbourne game, I was like, Bass, you need to come around for a bit just to get away from the house and whatever. I just got the phone call on my face, like, yeah, sweet as, mate. Came over here and you had a balloon on your <laughs> yeah. foot. Like, but you had it in an ice bucket, yeah. like, which is pretty good by you. That's the old trick. I'm doing the right thing. I yeah. probably should have an ankle brace on now, but. Um, <laughs> Sure. How, how's that ankle going? I know it was, um, you probably have a photo on your phone, right? Yeah, it's going well. I've missed, what, five weeks now, so I'll probably miss one more and try and start running this week yeah. and then play. Are you flying flight down there, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's good fun. Um, fuck, here we go. I know, right? Here we go. But yeah, I, I love the club that I play at. They're a good bunch of blokes. Yeah. Um, good, like I'm, one of the, I'm the oldest there. But 31 years of age, my guy. Yeah. And, and they're all fucking They're 90, all young 18 year olds. And they're crazy. They're like they fucking, run a mark. They're wild. Their they weekends are wild. like. Um, all right, first question is from Ramat on Twitter. He said, a Bali AFL game, good or a bad idea? I moved back to Indonesia and a Bali game would be very cheap for me to attend. 
So he's saying like, you know how some, uh, was it like, what, a couple teams went into Asia and played? Yeah. Would you be all for a Bali game? AFL going yeah, to AFL Bali. Yeah, AFL going to Bali. <laughs> Fuck yeah, why not? It's only four, four or five hours. Maybe if it was like the teams that weren't going to make the eight. Yeah. And they just say, oh, we'll, we'll stay here for a week. Yeah, I'm all for it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind it. <laughs> was it, was it, um, who was the Bulldogs player who went over there? Uh, Libertore, was it, yeah. was he went to Bali? And dominated. And Is dominated, and then, then the Marshall, I haven't gone yet. And cut his hair and stuff as well. Yeah. No, wasn't that Vietnam? Viet nah, oh, it might have been, it might have been Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnam or some Vietnam. shit. Yeah, um, this he is from, dominated. That yeah. was after winning the Granny. I know, so he had every opportunity to do that. Um, this is from Mitchie Price, the classic, hardest player you've ever played on, and it can be at North. Yeah, I just remember in my first year when, um, I got to tag Daniel Kerr. Oh shit. Like he was, he was hard. He's a little yeah. nugget bro. Yeah, he was good. And we had like, every time we played, I sort of went to him and oh, I was, I loved it. It was, I was a little kid seeing Daniel Kerr play like in flags and that. And then yeah, yeah. getting sent to him was did it? How did he go that game? Um, yeah, I won my rising star on him. Actually. Did you really? Yeah. So that was your, that was your 2010. That, that was that's like, 2010 was your yeah. year and you're the rising star in that yeah. game. But So what'd you have? Oh, 24 or something. But Let's go. I kept him quiet, but yeah. he was just, and then I played on him again and just how hard he worked and all that. So he's that. like, okay, now I know this Actually, junkie. Ryan Griffin was really hard as well. Ryan Griffin, that big body midfielder. He's, he's kind of thick as well. Yeah. And I'm slow and he's fucking quick, so. Uh, but not, like not in your heyday though. Yeah. What was your best moment in your footy career from Lidge Gilmore on YouTube? Best um, footy moment. Best footy moment. I was sub one, one year and I didn't. In I a hate, final. I hated that, it, but. That, Fucking green. And then you look bro. back on it and I've like seen some highlights and I'm like, fuck, that was cool. Yeah. You don't appreciate it at the time. You had, like, what was your best year? Because you, you, like, knowing of you when I was playing for the Blues, oh. you were um, racking up disposals as, like, for a year or two there, right? Yeah, I think my, like, I feel like my first bit of my career from my first year to, like, maybe my fourth or fifth year was, was good and then I kind of went downhill. <laughs> yeah, but. but that's that's footy shit happens, I, and I feel like when you when you get drafted, you just play the game. You're just playing the game. Yeah, yeah. You're, playing, you're just having fun. You're, you're enjoying the fun. environment. And then when, and then it, when then people it try, turns to a business. You got to stand here. You got to do this. Yeah, you do that. All the X's and O's, all the team meetings, everything. That goes on because I'm not the smartest bloke, so it goes in one ear, out the other, and I just want to play. Footy. Yeah, but you're footy smart, so yeah. like that's that's your that's where you hang your hat on. I just like playing. Fuck. Oh, Nico Wait. sixteen goes. Do you still have the Summon Black Letter? What is, what's the Summon Black Letter? Oh, yeah. So when run, I was... Run the Summon Black Letter is. Because you know Lambos. Craig. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because your uncle, isn't he? No, 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 just... I was oh, but your dad's family friend. Yeah, I was page boy in their wedding. And, um... <laughs> you bring up that photo? <laughs> yeah. And Blackie was my favorite player. You might have to be behind the back, right? Fuck, I'm going one nil down here. Um, Blackie was my favorite player and, um because dad was good mates with Lambos, he, Lambos got in touch with Craig. Yeah. And I got a letter when I was 12, and I've still got it. Well done, good game. Fuck. Yeah. We'll go one, game down. one game down. One game down. Um, yeah, so Lambos organized that and he signed it. I think it was the old, Lambos typed it up and. No, do you reckon? No, I don't know. No. Well, that's that's you, what happened. Blackie would have been a coach when you were here, right? Or no? Yeah, yeah, he was. Did you ask him about it? Or he but was I, like, what? He wouldn't remember, no way. No way he would. But then I spoke to Blackie when I was... Um, That's what I'm saying. Like, have you asked Blackie, like, do you remember? Like, so you wouldn't remember he wouldn't that. remember that because I was 12. But um, then when I was 17, I was playing in the granny at Eddie had. Yeah. And I spoke to Blackie on the phone and he gave me some advice. Cause, and I was, mate, I remember being on the phone to Blackie. I was like this. Yeah, yeah, I, did, I was shitting myself. Just I was, that, that much in love with him? Oh, I loved him, mate. I so were you Lions supporter growing up? Or no, no, Richmond. But oh, then... Rich what? Rich what? But then... <laughs> Because Lambo's played at Richmond, so that's why I'm a, oh, was. Oh, that's where you most of damage. Yeah. Oh no, I guess up here, right? And then Lambo's come to Brisbane, and then I obviously Rekindled soft that spot. Story. And I love Blackie. Yeah, that's crazy. I actually do remember that sort of. Um, on the ball from YouTube says, "Why did you leave North Melbourne? Why did I leave North Melbourne? Yeah. I just felt like I needed for a change, start. just a change, get out of Melbourne. You know, you, who, was who was coaching then? Are you breaking? Brad or? Scott. Yeah, I'll break. Brad oh Scott. no, who broke last night? Oh, I did. So you, you go. Is that how you do it? Yeah. Oh, that's so heavy, that stick. That's good. Yeah, Brad Scott was coach. Um, How'd you get along with him? Yeah, he was he was good. Like We got along well, but I, I thought, yeah. I you don't went, know. Were you getting games towards the end there? or was that? I was you? like in and out okay. sort of thing. I played, yeah, I was majority of the year, but I thought 
Um, the following year, I was going to just kind of get weeded out of yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Reckon. So I just wanted a new start. You see, a lot, of, you see a lot of players going through that kind of stuff. As yeah. In terms of like their, what were you like, 24? 24, yeah, turning 25. That's when you, you try and think of like, where can I best, where can my best footy be next? Yeah. How did Brizzy pop up? Was that just like the manager was like, oh well, look, Brisbane are looking for a Well, beast. Lambos obviously was here, and I just wanted to play AFL. Like, I didn't care where I was. I but just Brizzy's wanted... like out of nowhere, man. Yeah. yeah. No, I wanted to get out, like, out of Melbourne. fresh start, like, yeah. completely out of it. And I knew Brizzy was a great city, so. Um... I hadn't even thought about Brisbane until Greg Swan was like, uh, what are you doing, bro? You want to come up here? Yeah. I'd... I don't know. Yeah, that's only one, though. But I love Brizzy. Even though footy probably didn't work out how like I would have liked, yeah. I haven't left. I'm still here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You you wanted to go into the, the mental, not the mental health stuff, but welfare? Is that yeah, what you wanted to yeah, kind of do? I did, yeah. So like, run me through what you're doing now that kind of links in with that. Yeah. And, and so I do, I do disability work now. Yeah. Um, I just work for myself. My yeah. partner, Nat, um, does the same thing. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, um, shit. So yeah, I just run, well, I have my own little business and I've got my own clients, which is awesome, but my clients are more mental health and, yeah. and stuff like because that. Because it's, it's, we've talked about it and it's kind of like um, interesting, like sometimes, so how it works is you'll go on the app and you'll see a client that, or their mum or dad might be like, hey, yep. uh, my son has autism, he can't do X, yep. no. can you just take him for a walk? Or yep. this, this guy likes hiking, this guy likes yep. going to the gym, whatever, can you do that? And sometimes you might even go for a walk yep. and not, the guy might not even say a word, yeah, right? 100%. So you're just doing all the talking and yeah, like, yeah, mm. yeah. Cause it takes, you know what it's like building a relationship. It takes a while to build that relationship. Yeah, hundred percent. But once you do, it's, it's awesome. And Would you get into the athlete space? Like welfare or not really? I don't know about that. There's so many fucking politics in AFL, man. And there's I'd, a lot of. I'm yeah. happy to be out of it, to be honest. There's yeah. too much going on for me. Um, but if they clean clean it up a bit, maybe. Because I'm more like the culture and relationships and. Yeah, I, I guess I get that. I, don't know, I understand. But, like, obviously, there's a lot of politics in AFL. Yeah, yeah. Too like, much, I reckon. But, but what about Crowley's top job? Or is I, that, yeah, is that I love, similar stuff. I, yeah, I love that. I love what Crowley does. Yeah, um, and he, his job is pretty much just play the golf with the boys. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> he's got a membership of the fucking that's Brookwater. That's what I wanted to do. Charlie emailed Brookwater Golf Club and was like, oh, can I get an um, ambassador membership? And they're like, oh, we're all full, sorry. So Scotty Borlase, Crowley, Crowley got yeah, they got him. And they like, obviously they're like, they're great blokes, but like yeah. they don't have any presence on social. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, why wouldn't you want like Chucky Cameron to be the... So like, Charlie didn't get one? No, he couldn't get it. They're full. No way. But they're going to do a big clean out apparently. Uh, your name's still on there. At Brookwater? Yeah. People go into your name. So uh, I can go and play? Yeah. Oh, fuck. 100%. This is from Cryptic. He sent four of the bad boys. We've kind of talked about it. These are kind of all from him. Like, he goes, what's life been like post footy? Like, is it all what you thought it was going to be? Like, did you get yourself set up? for life past footy mm. in your last year, were you ready for it? Or yeah. were you just like, oh, you know what, I'll just go play a lot of footy, do some schooling or whatever it may be. Like, what was the, cause I might be going through that now. What was yeah. like your mindset, like thinking, oh shit, it might be my last year. Yeah, yeah. well, I was, I, like the writing was on the wall for me. I yeah, sort yeah. of- Well, when you were like absolutely, absolutely dominating in VFL, yeah. oh, NEFL back then, yeah. like averaging 30 or whatever. Yeah, if you can't get a game doing no that, stats. then you sort of know. You yeah. sort of know the writing's on the wall. And yeah. So, I knew I like kind of set myself up with, you know, use my money well throughout my career yeah. and that to you know, have a house and whatever and um, and yeah. So I know I knew what I wanted to do. I love helping people and that. Yeah. So I knew what path I wanted to go down. I didn't exactly know what I was going to do. Specifically, what it was going to. But then to when I met Nat, she yeah. she like set me down this path and I absolutely love it. Yeah. And by the way, like Nat's probably one of the best girlfriends you can have, and she's a painter, she's a, painting fuck, enthusiast. She's, she's, yeah, she's, she's a, a legend. What balls am I? You're bigs. Am I? For the fourth time. For the fourth and <laughs> final time. <laughs> and then this podcast stuff come. It just, yeah, so I don't run know, just... podcast and Liver King himself oh, replying. So run me through that's pretty cool. I love Liver King. So for people you don't know, I don't really know too much about it, but this guy says he lives off just liver. Is that right? No, not just liver. He just meat. Eats um He's not really specific. He eats what, he what does he say from from the toe to the head, eat all the organs and shit and Oh, so he doesn't leave anything spared. No, nah, he eats testicles, oh, liver, yeah. brain, everything. Yeah, so you want like the podcast thing you're starting up now. You can go. I'll link it below. You can go to it. It's pretty cool. He does it all in here. So what's your goals for that? Like, oh, just and you got someone cool on next week too. You can, you can yeah, go. yeah. She's an ex UFC fighter, um, bare knuckle fighter now, and a bare knuckle fighter now. So she, I love fighting in UFC and that. So as you can tell from, he's a big Connor fan. Oh, do you see? What Connor and Floyd Mayweather? 
fighting. The about to settle the contract. You're kidding? Yeah. So he's make a deal. So he's boxing, not you. Yeah. It's, oh, he's gonna, obviously he's going to do a chin-up fight since breaking his leg. Yeah, true, true. And like, that's like millions, like 200 million top fight. But that's what I saw today. I don't know if it's. I've seen that for a while, but. Fuck, yeah. Will, today, will it today it was like it was like saying like everyone's like yeah it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I yeah. hope it does. That'd be Imagine sick. that. Pineapple. Get in. Yeah, I've got to start focusing on this one. <laughs> um, yeah, so you got her on next week. Yeah. And what, what's the, is this just like a kind of a fad thing in the moment? You're, you're doing it because you got half a day off usually, or is it something that you kind of... No, I want to I have a crack at it and yeah. do it. I just feel like, um, like you see footballers and people on TV that they're not really, they stand there and they just, they're robots. They're robots. They're they yes, don't, yes, they say no, what so. people want them to say almost and yeah well that's what that's what the industry's like yeah so i want to get i want to get people on so you show a different side to them like we can actually just have a general chat and oh, fuck. get to know people really yeah yeah so and you're thinking stay like the athlete path or he's like whoever's like anything of, anyone i want people. anyone interesting um so if you want to come on fucking message me i'll be happy to i'll be happy to have you oh actually in the comment section i'll do a pin who do you think bassy would be good to get on next you i know nick curious i'd fucking love to get yeah him on. i actually he want, seems to, like I a want to get him on too i want to like yeah. do this thing but playing tennis yeah with him true and see if i can so you can do that with you and then come on with me yeah dunskies he'll be in brisbane soon yeah. um actually funny oh that's horrible how have i gone from that to that all right everybody we are the third and final game it is one apiece at the moment the, we've nearly Rob, ran all the questions rob vlogs versus bat, bruce this, this is, is huge pretty much like <laughs> this is what it comes down to i don't want to like second guess myself anymore because i was getting carried away with the questions and you know i just wasn't focusing so this game actually means a lot this is bragging rights outside of the podcast and whatever it is i like his table though his table's it's really good, good. It rolls well like I, you don't get any nah What's no, lean. Like, no lean or anything like that. And that's like crucial with this game because that wigs me out a fair bit. All right, he's off the board. He's he small balls, I'm big balls. Makes sense. Um, this is from, okay, there's about 14 of these questions coming from the same person. I want to ask as well, as long as these question down below, who was your favorite player to play with at the Lions and yep. North? Kanga, 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 Ruse, yep. Ruse, Ruse. I think the best player I played with at North, like Daniel Wells and Boomer, yes. and Drew, but Daniel Wells, like... Yeah, this, is, this is a tough one, and I can't let you pick three. Oh, fuck. So it's gotta be one. So Wells, oh. Harvey, and Petrie. You got, like, oh. explain... I think, like, Wellsy... Like, people don't understand how good Wellsy was, I don't reckon. But that, in pre-season, you would watch Wellsy and you go, this bloke is going to win the fucking Brownlow every, every year. year. Every year, right? Every, like, he was that good. Was he? And he was good. Why didn't you remember Brownlow every year then? Played, like, he was just so good. Yeah. Just talent-wise and everything. But for Boomer, consistency, like, obviously. I think Boomer was obviously getting up every game, like, and yeah. playing for as long as he fucking did. And Boomer was probably a bit more professional. Like, really, yeah. looked, done, cross, what is it? Crossed every... Ticked fucking, every box. Ticked every box. Oh, well, oh, Wellsy just like playing. It? Crossed every T and dotted every I. Yeah, yeah. So that was Boomer and Wellsie just played. Like, the he fun. just loved he just playing. The game. He's a family man, didn't really care. Yeah. I don't um, actually him at his house. Yeah, he's a, yeah. Loves Did his you, red. Loves yeah, his red. Yeah. <laughs> what about Petrie? Where's, so, do you, want, do you want to be three? Drew Petrie and Harris Andrews are pretty much identical. As in dorks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dorks and just fucking professional and guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's no, no reason to why they're good, that's just they're just, what they are. Yeah, they're just, yeah, good. So who's your one, two, three then? Stop beating around the bush. Who's number one? I'll go Wellesie. Yeah, love that. Talent-wise and that. And then Brisbane. Oh, fuck it. You got... Um, Binger was pretty good. Dane Beans, Dane Beans. He, he was a... If he had all his shit in order, yeah, like... Yeah. He could have... He would still be playing now. Binger was a gun. Uh, yeah. What am I again? <laughs> Your uh, yeah. small balls. Binger was, Binger's good. He was very good. Like, just the way, he like had a couple of years when he went ultra professional, remember? Like he was just like fucking, yeah. pff, got jacked when he hurt his He's shoulder rigged. or something. He's Man. rigged with his He had the biggest tears I've ever seen in my life. And then Rob Logs. <laughs> and, then Rob, <laughs> and then Rob Logs on the wing there. Yeah. This is from Hugh and Byrne Ockerby. What was the culture like while you played with people like Petrie, Farida, and Boomer? You would have been young as hell. Yeah. So that's probably like, did you, were you going out every weekend doing your thing or was it kind of like, I want to play pretty, footy? Nah, pretty much, yeah. Um, I'll just nail this in. You reckon? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, the culture was unreal. Like, we'd go out and, I, the Mad Monday. Did I see you out every time? Yeah, probably. Like, surely? Yeah, fucking oath. Where'd you used to go? Did I was, you ever I go was to CQ and Eve. No, oh, CQ. Yeah, CQ you and Eve. Eve. We were more CQ. Yeah, I was CQ. Five drink cards, thanks. Yeah, the five, um, spend a couple blacks, please. Yeah. 
And then I'd, I'd get paralytic there, then stumble down to Eve. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, North Culture was awesome. You know the Colonel? Yeah, Colonel yeah, Puff Puff. Colonel Puff Puff. Like, He's like Colonel Puff Puff for the third and final time. That was my favourite thing ever. That game gets you, and you're, you're a- oh, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. No. I needed that, because you were humming. Yeah, the Mad Mondays at um, North well, Melbourne. Who had better Mad Mondays? Oh, but yeah, we did. Yeah, cool. uh, North, sorry, North Melbourne. Yeah, that's because it was timid by the time. Like, yeah. like the clubs all were like saying, no, nah, we can't be doing this yeah. anymore, guys. Yeah. North, Too much going on. North Mad Mondays and that were the best. Wadey was real, he, G could drink. Wadey. Yeah, you can put him away. Yeah. He's got a massive <clears throat> personality. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, but North, um, North Mad Mondays were good. I'm coming here as a virgin. Home court advantage. I don't think I've got a chance, so I'm gonna. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> That's not. Nice. Don't count me out, he says. Stop. You couldn't have left it in a better spot. Really? That's. That's straight in. This is game. Is that game set match? Bruise with Basti. Uh, Two to one to Rob Logs. Bang. Oh. oh, fuck it. Oh, well. Hey. Thanks, brother. Thanks for having me, mate. No worries. Um, thanks for coming on. Hopefully, a lot Love of people it. got something out of it. I'm going to yeah. leave some information in the... Follow Brews. Yeah, follow follow Brews. I'm going to leave some information in the description. It's easy to follow. Great listen. He's got a lot of lot of the boys, especially Lions boys on the early days. So. And if there's anyone out there that wants to come on, message. Yeah, you'll see it in there. But no, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, bro. That's huge. I thought I was fucked out. Your first game was sick. Like, first game, I'll just put that on yeah. the moment, putting other games on there.